Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. So guys, moving on to our next topic that is pure component in React. So in this video, basically we are going to see what is pure component in React, how to use them. And then we are going to see two example. One is pure component example with states and another one is with props. And finally, we are going to see an interview question based on this topic. So before starting the video, uh, if you're not aware, I always uh, commit the code that I'm doing in the video on my GitHub repository. So you can go to my GitHub repository and then you can reach out to this uh, repository that is react tutorial and you will find the video number and the topic. Uh, according to that, you will you can get the code that I'm doing in a particular video. Now let's start understanding what is pure component in react. Okay, so pure component are a specialized type of react component that are optimized for performance. Unlike regular components, which re-render whenever their props or state changes, pure component implement a shallow comparison of their props and state to determine if a render is re-render is necessary. So I'll tell you what basically it means. So we have used uh, normal components a lot right till now. So you, if you remember, uh, whenever we update the value of a state, there is a uh, re-render that occurs Okay, in the DOM. So what happens many a times what happens is suppose I have a state called as name and when I change its value like the initial value was the humble and when it's when we change this value to coder the value gets changed once okay but still whenever we click or uh, whenever we do a button click for the state change there is again a re-render every time okay so we don't want we want that it should uh, like the value should be compared okay if the previous value of the state is same and again the new value is again same previous and new value is same then the re-render should not occur okay this re-render is causing the extensive uh, load on the memory so because of that we can use pure components so these extra re-renders does not happen so that is what it is told here like pure components are the specialized type of react components that are optimized for performance okay so let us now see how to use pure components. So using pure pure components in your react application is straightforward. Simply extend the react dot pure component class instead of react dot component when defining your component classes. React will automatically handle the shallow comparison of props and state to determine whether to re render the component or not. So basically um, we are going to see all of this in practical. So you will understand how can we use pure component basically whenever we are writing uh, in the whenever we are importing the component right import react from react so in that line only we have to uh, write import react pure component from react so in that way we can use pure components and one more important thing to notice pure component are a concept of class based components okay so uh, for functional based components we have a hook for this purpose that is use memo hook that we are going to see in the upcoming video now let us move on to the code editor and we will see an example uh, with which we will understand how uh, this re-rendering happens and how can we uh, stop it using pure components. So first of all, I'm going to create a class based component. So for that, I'm using RCE, which is the snippet, for, which will give us the basic snippet for class based component. So if you see here, we are importing a normal component. Okay. So if you don't want to do this, you can even write react.component here itself. So basically it means that this is the normal component. So first of all, with the normal component, we are going to create a state. Okay. So for example, if you have to create a state in a class based component, we have to write a constructor, right? So constructor, so basically constructor should be written first. Okay. So I'll write it just in the above. So constructor and then in the constructor, we have a super method. Okay. And then after this, I'll create my state, this dot state. And in this, we will have, we will initialize our state value. So as I was saying, I'm just giving the, the name as the humble whose value we are going to update it on a button click. So now here I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, just create a div and then inside that I'm going to create a button which says update name with which we will update the value of name and here I'm going to write on click event handler with which I will update the value of my state. So in class based component, we will do it in this way. So basically this dot set state and uh, this set state is a function. So here again, we have to write in this way name and the updated value of name, which is which will be like coder once. So, so once we click on update name, the value of the humble should be updated to uh, coder okay and here the semicolon will not come so i'm just now saving it and now uh, i'm also writing one basic 
h2 which will display the change in the state value so i'm just writing hello and our state uh, which will be this dot state dot name okay so we can see the value and now uh, to understand the re-render is happening i'm just going to write a console statement which will tell uh, which will let us know like how the re-render happens okay so i'm writing app component re app component renders okay so basically i'm writing this and this should be a string so okay now let us go to our application and we'll see how it is working so basically if you see i'm going to refresh the page initially so we know that whenever the uh, component loads the renders occur okay so it is re rendering for the first time now if you see our initial value of the state is the humble okay and as soon as i'm clicking on this button the value gets set and the value is now changed to coder so since there was a change in the previous and the new value the component got rendered okay but again i'm trying to set the value but again this time the value is already coder and there is no change but still as soon as i click on the update name the set name uh, will the set name function that we have will get execute right so which will cause re-rendering again so if you see even though the value was coder like it there was no change in the value but there was no need for this render right so this render causes uh, extra load on our application so we don't want this so in many cases we don't want this uh, like if the value is already same there is no need for rendering again and again so how can we stop this we can make use of pure component in this case so just how can you do it so here instead of uh, importing a normal component you can import a pure component okay and here uh, while extend extending uh, you can just write pure component and you can just save it so this is how easy it is but the but you should know the logic behind it so if you see now again the component has rendered for the first time because of uh, first load and now the initial value is the humble as soon as i click on update the value got changed so it got rendered again again when i'm clicking on update name now again no longer it will get updated because now it is making a comparison between the previous value of the state and the new value of the state so since both are same so there is no need for rendering so this is the main advantage or you can say use case of pure component so this we have seen with state again now we will see one more example for uh props so for props we uh, we might need a, a child component or a, another component basically so that we can send the data from there to like parent to child so what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to remove the extra lines which are not needed so this console statement is not needed now because we are going to console it in the child component and also this is not needed now because we will sh uh, show the data from child component now instead of this i'm just directly going to uh, call my child component which is like child and uh, I also need to import it to so import child from child and again I I want to pass the prop because you know we have to understand how the updation in props causes the re-rendering so I'm just going to pass name equals this dot state dot name okay so I have passed this as a prop and the rest of the things are going to be same basically so in my child component what i'm doing is i'm just do uh, basically returning uh, this h1 okay this will just show our state value okay and rest all the button and all these things we are doing from the parent component only because we just want to understand that here in the child uh, component whenever the props values gets updated the child component also gets re-rendered right so that is why i have written a console statement here child component re-renders okay now i'm going to remove this pure statement which we have written otherwise it won't show the re-renders because if the parent is already uh, you have is if the parent is already a pure component right so now let us see so i'm refreshing it so initial initially the value is the humble okay and as soon as i click on update name you can see first of all uh, on the first initial load child component renders and then as soon as i click on update again the child component has rendered because there was a change in the value of the state now it should not re-render if it would be a pure component but since it is not a pure component uh okay i think there is some mistake i okay so okay yeah i have written this statement I have written pure here so that's why so again let's see so for, for in the first go since the value is changing so that's why but again next time if you see the value is already same since again it is uh, re-rendering again and again so if you want that it should not re-render so in the similar way you can just do this thing okay react dot pure component in the child component and now it should work as per the functionality of pure component
So if you see now it is just rendering once whenever there was a change in the value. So this is the whole concept of uh, uh, pure components. Now let us look at one interview question based on this topic. That is what are the limitations and advantages of pure components. Now pure components as such you might feel that are providing the advantage but it is you know it depends on what your functionality that you are trying to implement. So there might be cases where you don't want pure, func uh, pure components functionality to be implemented and there might be cases where you want that uh, your re-renders and extra things should not happen. So in that case you might want pure components. But again you have to remember one important thing is pure components component is totally a topic of class based components. So when coming to functional components, we have a hook for this purpose, which is use memo. So let us see what is the limitation based on it. So first one is shallow comparison. So since pure components perform a shallow comparison of props and state, which means they may not detect the changes in the nested data structures. In such cases, you may need to use other techniques like immutable data structure or custom should component update implementation. Next uh, limitation is object mutation. Mutation, uh, mutating objects or arrays in props or state can lead to unexpected behavior with pure components. It's crucial to follow the best practices for immutability to ensure consistent behavior. Now let us see the advantages of uh, pure components. So first advantage as we already seen, improved performance. Pure components reduce unnecessary re-rendering resulting in faster UI updates and smoother experiences. Second advantage is simplified logic. With pure components, you can focus on writing logic without worrying about the manually optimizing re-renders. And final uh, advantage is easy integration. Pure components seamlessly integrate with the existing React code base and can be used alongside other optimization techniques. So basically, if you have to use pure component, you just have to import a pure component instead of a normal component. So it is very easy. So if you have to update or change your code. So these are the things for pure components. Let me know if you have any more doubts about pure components and please share your feedback in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you in next video.